thing you'll have to do in almost every assignment you turn in is cite your sources. So we're going to look at an easy way to do that today. Within your course, you can click on the Resources tab at the top, and you will find under the Library Resources section, there's an APA Citation Online Academic Guide. Well, let's click on that. It will bring us to a web page with tons of information. The best way to do this is to go to APA References page. Click on that tab. On the left side, you have some quick links. So all of these right here will show you how to reference a book, a court opinion, any kind of picture or graph, a journal article, this is one that you'll probably use a lot, a movie, newspaper articles, uh, personal communications, so maybe something you got from an instructor or an interview you held with someone, and web pages. I'm going to click on web pages because that's one that we have a lot of trouble with. There's four separate ways to do this. The first one is a web page with an author. So it tells you exactly what to do here. Author last name, comma, first name, period, and then it gives you, I'm sorry, first initial. It gives you a good example underneath. The next one is if you don't see an author on the web page, and that happens quite a bit if there's a group of authors or it's a big website, um, you'll follow this example. And if you can't find a, uh, an author or a date, use the next one, and then the last part here, a web page with a group author. So make sure that you're including all of the information you can find, and always, always, always retrieved from the URL because you want your reader to be able to find the information that you uh, researched. 